never before seen video released tonight. It shows Orange County Corrections officers taking down a 75 year old man in jail. An autopsy report obtained by News 6 reveals his injuries. He died two days later. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live at the Orange County Jail with more of this video released by the state attorney's office. So Eric, you found out the county has already punished some of the workers. Yeah, that's right. We actually found out one of the nurses here at the Orange County Jail has been terminated. Two other nurses have been reprimanded. It appears they didn't offer this man medical care after this use of force incident. Now we want to warn you, this video is really tough to watch, but it does show the force these officers use to subdue this man. Don't move. Don't move. Watch closely and you can see these Orange County Jail Corrections officers barrel into the cell of 75-year-old William Howard. You can see they throw him to the floor where he lands on his head. <laughs> Howard was arrested on November 16th of last year. That's when his wife says he started acting strange and attacked her in their front yard, beating her and stabbing her with a kitchen knife. She survived. The man who had never been arrested before now faced aggravated battery charges. Rewind that video now and we see those officers were trying to coax Howard out of his cell, but he wouldn't come to the front door. He appeared confused. Come on out of here. This is to the noise, the this is the noise, so I get you on out of there. After 15 minutes. At uh, this time we're going to be using force. They decide to go in and get Howard. Put your hand on your back, Howard. <laughs> New 6 found out the medical staff at the Orange County Jail didn't examine him after this use of force. The medical examiner says he went into cardiac arrest a day later, and a day after that, he died. We got a hold of his autopsy report. It shows two of the vertebrae in his neck were broken, his spinal cord had been crushed, and his brain swelled. The medical examiner ruled Howard's cause of death was homicide. Now, we found out the state attorney's office did investigate this case, but they found there was nothing criminally wrong in this, so nobody's going to face any charges for Howard's death. I also talked to Howard's daughter tonight. She told us that uh, the family's hired an attorney, but we checked. No lawsuit's been filed, at least not yet. We are live at the Orange County Jail tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Matt, Lisa.